what's your um next video that's coming out this just says your mom <laughs> have you done that Callum? <laughs> what? <laughs> has someone have we been pranked <laughs> did you not do that <laughs> wait guys this just literally usually we get like and like people write into our podcast and write things out this just says your mom <laughs> Oh, <laughs> do, you didn't put that in. <laughs> what the actual? F has someone like hacked our printer? <laughs> Did you do that somehow? Have you like done it from your phone? <laughs> what? Someone, <laughs> someone, someone <laughs> sent in your mum. Oh, I thought that like our producer had literally just thought, oh, I'll just uh, scam them a little bit and just put your mum printed out. That's speaking what I of big piles of shit. <laughs> right. Okay. So someone wrote that in. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, my mum, yes. But I've got another one. Yeah, all right, I've got another one. All right, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely thought just... that Callum had just typed it out and wrote your mum full stuff. What? I didn't understand. How has he done that? How the peck has he done that? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck me, this is long. Oh, it's worth God. it, though. It's a good one. It's going to really test my reading skills. Let me... Do you want me to do it? No, it's fine, I could do it. It is about me, though, to be fair. Right, well, then, you're not allowed to read it. <clears throat> Dear Max and George, Wait. I keep burping. Oh, he's, always, he's already struggling. That was yeah. the easy bit. As a very <laughs> as a very busy year thirteen student from a small seaside town, this is relevant. A few weeks ago, my friend and I found ourselves finishing our exam and heading out to catch the next train home from school. It became quickly apparent that we would be about to miss our train as we saw it pull up to the station just as we arrived to the road leading up to the station. My friend and I tried to weary... Tried... To I can't read. Do you to do it? Wait, I'll do this bit and then you can do the next paragraph. My friend and I, tired and weary from our exam, did not <laughs> fancy... <laughs> no, you didn't. You so tired and weary. Tried to... Yeah. I thought they meant like they tried to wear something. Anyway. <laughs> tired and weary from our exam, did not fancy waiting an hour for the next train home. So we started sprinting to catch our train. We noticed a group of uncouth y London youths. That's such a fancy sentence standing by the ticket machine <coughs> something wrong with me <coughs> but paid no mind as we had more important things to get to i.e our train it was then that we hear a uh, go on girls along with cheering come from a group of said uncouth london youths standing by the ticket station this then drew my friend's attention, who immediately who immediately made me aware, once we had stepped on the train, that we had just all sprinted at full speed, no dignity involved, as we wanted to get home ASAP, at the big ages of 18, past Arthur Hill, Arthur TV and George Clarkey. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god. She was immediately mortified and slid down her seat to hide. I was uncertain this was really them, as what business would they have in a small town called Sandwich? That's when you went to Sandwich, isn't it? Probably that would be it, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. However, this incident has been playing on my mind since then. It was already embarrassing enough that we had to run, let alone get yelled at whilst we were mid-race. And today, I watched the video uploaded by Arthur Hill, which confirmed that they were indeed in Sandwich, and it was indeed them laughing at us. So, with this, I demand an apology from George for not only making my friend immediately embarrassed but also for being the root cause of my potentially failed exams as I've been <laughs> as I've been unable to sleep because of this experience and whilst we're at it people from Sandwich are called Sandwichians and if you go back Hayes Shack is the best restaurant in Kent sincerely student wrong by George Clark that is so oh, yeah, I don't want funny. any other emails to be ended off with student wronged <laughs> yeah, by George Clark oh my Clark. god yeah <laughs> Jesus <laughs> we should change that to <laughs> student wronger <laughs> wow that is brilliant that's so funny I completely so forgot hilarious. we did that because you just would if you saw people running for a train go, go on girl yeah <laughs> that is so fucking funny what uh, was sandwich like like, was it small yeah. uh triangular shaped uh <laughs> fits in your mouth was, quite uh, nicely the borders were a bit boring but uh everything inside was a bit exciting it was oh like a sandwich job yeah. okay i get you bit crusty <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um, but they were very rich though really yeah, bre rich sandwich breaded really 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let us just carry on. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry for saying that, but it, I don't regret it. I'll do it again. It was funny. <laughs> sorry, yeah. I don't. You can't blame your exams on no, me. Oh, it was no. hilarious. Oh, yeah, good fun. It was funny. Um, run faster next time. Don't be late. Um, and we wow. shan't be returning to sandwich. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Right, I've just had one. In fact, not because the phone's ringing. Do you want to pick it up? <laughs> Hi, Max and George. Let's pretend I'm called Christina. And my dilemma is, as soon as I have had a drink, I am the biggest slut you can imagine. I rate it's myself, you know, I'm quite attractive, but it doesn't matter whether they are or not, they're getting it. As soon as I have had a touch of alcohol... I'm just on the hunt for guys. It just takes over. I am that friend that will always be wandering off to go and find that dick. How do I stop getting with twos, getting with whoever, whatever is in front of me, and having a little bit more self-respect? <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Bye. Wow. <laughs> a girl after my own heart. I love to see it, Christina. I mean... <laughs> I was a massive whore back in the day. Let it be known. Genuinely, I don't know why, very similar to Christina, I mm. would go on nights out and then go on like the dating apps to find someone to shag after it pretty much every single night out, which granted was not that often, maybe just like three, four, five times a week. Um, <laughs> and no, it was, I, yeah, I would get drunk. Mm. And I don't know why. When I first got with Andrew, he, um, this might be TMI, you might not want me to say this, but I don't give a shit. I, I'm very much so, like, I would get drunk and then want to have sex, whereas he would be the opposite. He would turn into, like, this big, like, mushy fucking, like, Play-Doh man. That's not talking about his penis. I don't know why. Well, it kind of is. I don't know why I'm talking. Anyway, let's all just stop it there. Um, <laughs> but he would be like, that's the last thing on his mind. He wants to, like, eat food, then go to bed, because he's literally, like, he's, can't even focus on anything. Whereas I would become, like, this fucking person who's just, dis like, a caveman who's just discovered sex. <laughs> Honestly, it was weird. So I completely relate to you, Christina. And no. the only thing that I did to get over it was get into a committed relationship with someone. Do you have any advice? <laughs> Jesus. Um, I feel like... I, I would say drink less, but if it's after every drop of alcohol, I guess... Don't even wash your hands of anything. Don't go to family just, occasions. Like, <laughs> Christmas Day must be a wild one for um, you, Christine. I would say, like, go on a little um, meditation retreat. Yeah, like a go, not not actual rehab, but yeah. just rehabilitate yourself. Just mm. just push yourself away from it for a while. Say, if I don't want this to happen, I'm going to take a month, maybe maybe a few weeks, just away from it, just to rid my brain of these these foul demons mm. maybe in that time um just force yourself to ch chat to girls chat to guys that you or girls yeah, that almost. you um mm. are genuinely attracted to mm. but if it ever steers into a little horn dog oh conversation go yeah. <laughs> no thank you we're, yeah. keep, we're keeping it pg well, she's a huge horse she can't help it she yeah. can't help well, it and I get the, the it Christina bumps in the road it. will come yeah. <laughs> and come they will oh. but you just and if there's bumps in the road they're there's hemorrhoids humps in the road. get them checked oh. out oh humps in the road will come yeah I, <laughs> quite literally oh, 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 humps oh. will come yeah um, but yeah I feel like if you if you truly want just sexy men mm. and you truly and come to the useless hotline baby <laughs> <laughs> here we are the right place here we are um, yeah. yeah I guess just Give yourself go on go on a sabbatical. For Chastity a bit. cage, all that, or lock Chastity yourself up. Chastity belt, metal belt that covers your vagina. Lock in with your cock in. Yes. Um, also, one thing, Christina, that genuine help um, from me. When I obviously have like been in relationships and I no longer would like whore about, I realised how much of like towards the end of a night out, I would just think of or like spend time like going to meet someone and then my friends would all like go back to the house whatever and there might be like a funny moment that I missed out on so I was like do you know what as soon as I got with Andrew I got to enjoy it. granted there's not many funny things that happen at the end of the night when it's 3 a.m and you're all getting ready for bed but you never know and yeah. you would be missing out on those moments so have fun remember that there's more to life than meaningless sexual encounters if it didn't happen already it wasn't meant to absolutely 
Absolutely. And um, close your legs. I can smell it from here, Christina Love. Ooh. I'm joking. That was a joke. That was a joke. Oh, George, back to where? I'm joking and I love you, Christina. 